Hey, this is Robbie from Grammatica, and in this video, I wanted to quickly discuss with you how to turn yourself into an emotional rock when you're dealing with stresses on a day-to-day -day basis in your business or your family or however that's, uh, you know, whatever combination of the two you can have. So often what happens when uh, we as an entrepreneurs run our business is that things happen, uh, good or bad, and that kind of creates different emotional pressures on you. Uh, either positive pressures, meaning things that make you excited or happy, like getting a new client or sale, or uh, having client ask to upsell their product. But you also have negative pressures, like when you just have a huge buildup in your calendar, and you just don't know how to handle the entire backlog of tasks. So in these situations, what tends to end up happening is that we put ourselves into a very stressful mood. Like we start saying to ourselves, I got to take care of this and this and this, and it's just way too much and I can't get to everything and I won't be able to get to it. Now, I want to give you kind of a, a curveball here. So the fact that you have time to think about the fact that you don't have time. So the fact that you're able to think, oh, I don't have time. I'm too busy. Let me let me switch to the view while we're while we're at it. Um, so yeah, that's not it. Doesn't really work. Okay, never mind. Let's get back. So the fact that you have time to discuss with yourself um, about not having time, that you're able to think, uh, I'm too stressed. I can't get to this. It's you know, it's too much work, and actually spend time thinking about not having time is actually evidence that you still have uh, time. Because in a real emergency, if you actually did not have time, if you're actually so overwhelmed that there was not a minute available, uh, you would not have time to think about not having time because you'd be too busy doing. So keep in mind that this is an activity that you choose to do. And usually it's coming out of place of reactivity. One of the most important realizations you can have is that your emotional state can actually be divorced from what's going on outside. So the fact that, you're, that you have a lot of tasks, that there's a huge backlog, that there's a lot to get to, uh, that's just the situation. And the fact that you're stressed, you're stressed because you think it's gonna somehow help you resolve the issue, but it's actually not. It's actually gonna slow you down, make you very emotional, make you not able to look at the big picture. So what you wanna do in these situations is, first of all, anytime you're feeling stressed or you're feeling anxious or super reactive, just stop for a moment. Just take a deep breath. Just relax. And, and that will often solve the problem. Because the problem was not that you had a lot of stuff to get done. The problem was that you're stressed. And you unconsciously thought that by getting everything solved quickly, you'll, you'll stop being stressed. And again, these two are completely divorced. They have nothing to do with each other. Because even if you finish everything, you'll still feel stressed. Uh, it's a really cool thing that you kind of happen to, to realize if you actually manage to do it. So the solution is again, um, first of all, realize that if you have time to think about the fact that you don't have time, then you actually have time uh, and you're not as stressed or as under pressure as you think. Secondly is again, divorce yourself from the emotion. Just take a deep breath, relax and put yourself in a relaxed state. This is number one priority. And then when you relax, now you can actually strategize. Now what you want to do is you want to actually sit down write all of your tasks from zero. I know it looks like it's gonna take time, I don't have time anyway. Again, disregard those emotions and just do it anyway, trust me. Try it once, you'll see that it works. Verify it for yourself. So relax and then start writing down all of your tasks again. So don't copy them from somewhere, write down like, what do I need to get done? And just start spilling out everything into a text file, uh, just a huge list. And then when you have it in front of your face and the fact that you wrote it again, this will actually put everything in perspective. Now the next next question is, okay, uh, what's urgent? How do I handle everything? Um, is this really as big as it looks? And what you often see is that when you write it down, the very fact that you wrote it down is what de-stresses you, is that you went into a logical mode again. So try that and I guarantee you it will dramatically help you uh, resolve everything. Uh, so that's the video for today. Let me know if you have any questions and if you're looking to use the best B2B marketing automation system on the planet, uh, search Primatica on Google and you'll find my company. And if you're looking to learn how to create a cold outreach process that just gets you clients on autopilot, uh, that works better than any paid advertising, SEO, or any other inbound marketing technique, 
I'm running a webinar in just a few days, so you can actually sign up below. Thanks so much, and hope to see you soon.